Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna be checking out Elementary OS on the Raspberry Pi 4. So let's get started. It's no huge secret that I am a huge fan of Elementary OS. I actually covered the operating system a couple of times on my channel. And this was a project I wanted to do like last year. I wanted to install Elementary or Pantheon into Raspberry Pi and that was one of the big things I wanted to do if I ever wanted to use it as a desktop and finally it is here now this is an unofficial build I didn't do this and I'll leave all the links down in the description below on where you can get it but as far as unofficial builds go yes it's not supported by elementary OS meaning elementary OS did not develop this but the packages and the libraries that we are actually using are from elementary repos so the software that we are going to be installing are official you could say let's get into it now technically there are two ways to install it uh, one you could actually just download the image directly from the guy who put this together which I will leave a link down in the description below for that so if you go over to his uh, GitHub, there's an actual build script that you can run to actually build the entire image, or you could actually go over to his releases and download it straight from there. So if I head over to release right here, you can actually download the image from here and put it into an SD card and run it right off your Raspberry Pi. What I ended up doing was downloading uh, Ubuntu directly from Ubuntu itself and then following his little build script which is the bottom portion of right over here. This is, where is it? Where is it? Unmount, mount, mounting, here, here, here. Okay, so starting basically from this section on where it says OEM, that's the instructions I basically followed. All you have to do really is to add app repository, elementary OS stable, and the OS patches. And then you could app get install desktop minimal and standard. And basically you could install this on Ubuntu itself, depending on what version you want. So installing it is pretty easy. Like I said, I just followed this instruction, but you could actually just download his image and be done with it. Moving on, there are a little bit of quirks with this. Uh, there's some things that don't work like video acceleration. So if I open a file browser right here and I move it around, you could see that there are like a bunch of tearing and that has to do with one the video graphic drivers and as well as uh x11 it doesn't play very well so if you drag a screen this fast it will actually have like a little bit of tearing other than that it works pretty well um, if i was to go over to because i started the chrome browser i might not get a real good feel of how much the memory it takes but elementary os does not take a lot of memory itself uh, let me see resources 819 that's after i ran a browser so it should be a little bit lower but still 819 is not too bad for a desktop including the fact that it's this pretty imagine this if i open terminal you could still see like there's a transparency which looks really good again this is elementary os and it has all the features built into it so if i was to do i think windows key f and i grab that yep i still get the split screen over here so if i was to hit enter a few times you could see my split screen on the bottom and it will actually show, which is really cool. And a lot of the software is also in place. So if you go over to App Center, a lot of their software is here as well. So if I needed to go to say install Audacity, you know, Audacity is going to be in here somewhere. See? Now, even running all this stuff, it's not taking up much RAM. I do not have swap in here. I, I could enable it, but I am on the SD card. So I didn't enable that as well. So I'm gonna show you uh, the settings a little just to show you this really pretty screen, which is the about screen. And there you go, Raspberry Pi Foundation. That's the OEM thing that we were talking about before. And it's on OS 5.1.7 Hera. And I'm running on Ubuntu 18.04.4. And I think the latest release is .5, but .4 is still pretty good. As I'm using this for the past, I think, day or two, uh, it's been pretty responsive, most of the case. Uh, Epiphany definitely has a problem. The browser does not work very well and it runs very, very sluggish compared to uh, Chromium or Chrome. So even starting up, you can see it's taking a while just to boot up the thing. And running like any type of um, web browsing, it doesn't work very smoothly, especially like if I'm trying to scroll or something like that. So I would stay away from Epiphany and go straight to either Chromium or Firefox so you actually get that enhanced speed. Like scrolling is a little bit laggy you see like i'm still scrolling but it's not moving and then it just shoots to the bottom but if i was to do the same thing in chrome it runs 
flawlessly. If I was to, I don't know, say load a full web page like YouTube, scrolling and everything runs pretty well compared to Epiphany because I don't think it has much acceleration in Epiphany. Uh, you could also run uh, videos and stuff like that, so it does work. So you could basically use this as a normal desktop. It's just much prettier. Now, I believe Dark Theme does work, but because Elementary Tweaks is not made for ARM version, uh, yeah, you can't get Elementary Tweaks, but there is a command line to get everything to the dark version. Keep in mind, this is also running on a 64-bit operating system, and I'm not sure if it's gonna show you here, but if I hit the About box again, I might show you here. No, it doesn't show you here. But if I do uh, U name dash A, you can see it's on A Arch 64. So basically it is on 5.4 kernel, Ubuntu 18, and it's on Arch 64. So it's on 64 bit kernel. And we get all the official programs that you normally get from elementary OS, like stuff like this. Now there are some programs that are not available that are available on elementary OS. Like there's this monitor program that I like to use from elementary OS, but it doesn't work here, which is a system monitor. It's much prettier than GNOME system monitor, but that doesn't work. Uh, App Center also works like we just um, demonstrated earlier. And if you have installed stuff and needs to check for updates, it will check for updates and download updates if needed to. That's how I got it to 5.1.7. And again, um, elementary OS is very minimal, so it doesn't come with a lot of applications, which is something I like, what you guys would call less bloat. But as you can see, opening and closing programs is pretty responsive. There might be a slight delay, but hey, you're running on a Raspberry Pi. And this is default speed. This is 1.4 gigahertz. I didn't overclock or anything. Overclocking, it might prove to be even better, but I didn't find the need to really, really need it yet. But yeah, everything works as it should in elementary OS for the Raspberry Pi. And this is on the eight gigs of RAM Raspberry Pi 4. One thing I do have to mention, uh, sleep is an issue with this guy. It does enable sleep, even though I removed the package for ACPI, it still does its weird sleeping thing. So leaving this on for like half an hour, an hour, it will ultimately freeze the Raspberry Pi and won't come back on. So you would have to disable the sleep feature on this guy just to have it run perfectly. So I thought I would share this in conclusion. Uh, it works fairly well. It's pretty responsive. It's a little lightweight. It's much prettier than the default Raspbian or Raspberry OS right now. And you could actually use this as a full desktop on the eight gigs of RAM Raspberry Pi 4. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.